The president has avoided largely speaking about the Democratic primary, but he just had an interview with Politico where he made clear some of the things that he thinks about both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. We're going to start off with what he thinks about uh, Bernie Sanders and what he has tapped into amongst the voters. When you watch this, what do you do you see any elements of what you were able to accomplish in what Sanders is doing? Well, there's no doubt that that uh, Bernie has tapped into uh, a, a a running thread in Democratic politics that says, why are we still constrained by the terms of a debate that were set by Ronald Reagan right. 30 years ago? Uh, you know, why is it that we should be scared to challenge conventional wisdom and uh, talk bluntly about inequality? But it sounds like you're not buying the, you're not buying the sort of the easy popular dichotomy people are talking about, where he's an analog for you and she is no. herself. No, I, I, that, right? I, no I, don't think, I, I don't think that's true. <laughs> okay. No. Now, I have a lot to say about this. First off, whenever President Obama wants to be more careful, he gets more boring. He, yes. he takes a long time to answer. Okay, like, I don't want to screw up any of the words here because I can't be uh, mm. seen as supporting one over the other. Now, who does he actually support? It is overwhelmingly clear, in my opinion, based on, on this interview. Clearly Martin O'Malley, no. Uh, Hillary Clinton, he's definitely on Hillary Clinton's side. Now the interesting question is why? Not just because they worked together and she was a Secretary of State, that's a perfectly good reason, right? Uh, it's because of that very last answer. So it seems like you know people think that uh, he's like you, Bernie Sanders is like you, now running against Hillary Clinton the way you did. And he's like, that's not true, okay? Now he because was- Because he won. <laughs> Well, he doesn't no. want to set that up as like, oh yeah, he's doing what I did, I beat her. No, 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 no. So that's a perfectly fair point, mm. and that might be going through his head too. But the sense I got from the whole answer and from the whole interview was that, oh, this guy, he wants to reset the parameters. Yeah. But that's not realistic. Mm. I know I said that I would bring you real change, yeah. but that's not practical. And so don't judge me for these seven years where I didn't bring you real change. Yes. And I and I did practical politics like Hillary would. That's why I'm on his side. Now this Bernie guy, he hasn't exactly been vetted yet, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, is he like me? No, 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 no. And that's why he talks about the Ronald Reagan thing, where Bernie Sanders is not accepting the normal paradigm of okay, here's what the politics of today are as set by Ronald Reagan back then. And Sanders is saying, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to bring you real change. And I think that really gets under Obama's skin because that's what he was supposed to do and didn't do. Yeah, the idea that we we start off center right and then every year we just go a little bit more to the right every single year for the next few decades until the entire planet explodes. And and yeah, of course he would be bothered by that, both because the the comparisons are so obvious to make in terms of how the campaign has been going down, but he's a smart guy and he knows that he campaigns like Bernie Sanders and he governs like Hillary Clinton. Yes. And so he's recognized in her. And the thing is, he'll say Bernie Sanders hasn't been vetted. But no, the, that, that's not the problem. The problem is that Bernie Sanders has been vetted. We know what he stands for because he's been standing for it for decades. <laughs> Barack Obama was able to come in for about a term-ish, not really say or do too much, and so when he gives campaign speeches, we're like, we're going to take him at his word. But, the, but we shouldn't have. But Bernie Sanders, he actually governs the way he speaks. So John, great turn of phrase there and then a great substantive point. He, he campaigned like Sanders and, and operated and, and uh, legislated like uh, Hillary Clinton did. Uh, but the, the substantive point there is Bernie Sanders might be the most vetted candidate we have ever had. So yeah. the president couldn't be more wrong about that. He has a 40 year track record of being incredibly progressive. That's why when he says I'm going to bring you real change, I'm going to be a real progressive, people believe him. Because having been burned by the likes of Obama, progressives, especially millennials, are like, yeah, fool me once, as George Bush once famously <laughs> said. Uh, won't get fooled again, right? <laughs> so now the reason people have glommed on to Bernie Sanders is because this guy ain't fooling us. Yeah, he's been doing this for forty freaking years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even if he does end up fooling us, oh, it feels good to be happy again. Oh well, <laughs> no, I don't think he will. No. So, so you you think he's leaning towards Hillary? Let's see. In this video, he's going to talk about uh, Hillary's advantages. Let's see if this shakes things up. It shakes up your impression. Uh, Hillary. Uh, presents is 
uh, a recognition that translating values into governance and delivering the goods is uh, ultimately the job of politics, uh, making a real life difference uh, to, to people uh, in their day-to-day -day lives. I don't want to exaggerate those differences, though, right. because Hillary's really idealistic and progressive. You'd, you'd have to be uh, to be in, in uh, you know, the position she's in now, having fought all the battles she's fought and uh, you know, uh, uh, taken so many you know, s slings and arrows uh, from uh, the other side. Uh, Brock's a smart guy, but that last point didn't make any sense. Yes, yeah, she's been attacked for a long time. 99% of the attacks from the right have been false. That doesn't mean she's progressive. They would hate her regardless of what she does. So his point was nonsense, I think. No, that right there is almost dispositive as to who he's suppo yeah. uh, supporting. So in case you uh, have, don't speak politics, okay, let me translate for you. When he says... Uh, Hillary presents uh, is a recognition that translating values into governance and delivering the goods is ultimately the job of politics. What he's saying is, hey, yeah, Bernie Sanders pie in the sky, but like me, Hillary Clinton can recognize that you have to translate those values into governance. Yeah. Okay, so he definitely understands. Okay, more. Then he says, <laughs> making a real life difference to people in their day to day lives. Like, oh, Bernie's got a lot of speeches, like mm. I had a lot of speeches, right? Yeah. But you've got to then ultimately turn that into a real difference in day-to-day -day lives, and that's what Hillary Clinton can do. Yeah. So there's no question he, he's headed in that direction. He, he also said, uh, because the one thing everybody understands, that this job right here, you don't have the luxury of just focusing on one thing. Uh, maybe he's not trying to attack Sanders there, but what one thing is Sanders focusing on? I can't think of what that one, th maybe the economy as one thing, that wouldn't even be true. But inside of that, the idea that he's like a one issue person, no, he, he's progressive on, we can attack him on a couple of things, but for the most part, most policies that you can think of, I don't even understand what that, that's no, supposed I to mean. No, I know what referring to. So you might think, well, I guess the main issue for Bernie Sanders is income inequality, maybe that's what he's referring to. But John's right, wait a minute, now he's got a very strong and a single payer health care. Mm -hmm. That's a giant, giant issue for him. Family Education. Leave. Uh, you know, and, and all these things that he's laid out is going after the banks, all these progressive agenda that is not a single issue. No, what President Obama is referring to there is the issue of change. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Obama does have an issue with that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and so that's why he keeps pausing and hemming and hawing, but he's mm. get, oh, Sanders is under his skin because Sanders is saying you actually can get change. Mm. The one issue you ran on, President Obama, yeah. and he knows he didn't deliver on. The, now, he thinks he did, and I think a lot of people that are progressive or Democrats would give President Obama credit for delivering on the things he said he would deliver on after yeah. he got elected, exactly. right? Yeah. Well, after he got elected, he's like, no, no, I meant really like incremental change that will lead to bigger change at some point after I'm done being president. Right? And, and a lot of Democrats think, no, 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 Obamacare was, you know, significant enough, right? You know, there's a Millions lot of, more people who have right? health insurance than, than So, But he? incremental change, incremental change, that's what uh, mm -hmm. Barack Obama actually believes in, but that's not what he ran on. He ran on fundamental change. Yeah. That's the one issue that Bernie Sanders, that's, that runs through his entire campaign, yeah. and that's why Obama is here, is like poo-pooing it, like, oh, you'll see, governance isn't yeah. like that, Bernie. Yeah. Well, why don't we watch this last video? We're going to talk about both Sanders and Clinton's advantages here, and then I have a bit of a beef to raise with the way that uh, the entire country has been talking about this primary. I think Bernie came in with the luxury of being a complete long shot, right, and just letting loose. Right. Uh, I think Hillary came in with the uh, both privilege and burden of being perceived as uh, the front runner. Which, look, I think that those are perfectly fine points, and I think they're accurate. So I am so sick of this BS that's just cast out and is left unexplained that, yeah, yeah, it would be great if Sanders could actually do all the things that he says he's going to do, but we need someone who's actually going to get things done. So, obviously, Hillary Clinton, without any evidence actually being presented as to why she would be able to day-to-day -day get more done. When we know that other than maybe Bill Clinton... 
There is no Democrat more hated by the right, by the people that she would have to be working with. They despise her. They think that she and Bill Clinton are literally murderers, that they killed people when they were back in the governorship. Uh, the idea that if you were to look back over uh, decades and decades of Democratic presidents, who do you think of as getting things done? I mean, yeah, Bill Clinton did incremental changes. He made some of the major policies in our country more conservative incrementally. He certainly did that. But when you think about people who made a lot of change, I mean, you've got like FDR, you've got LBJ. They weren't people who were coming in like, well, I'm going to take it very slow and maybe I'll accomplish a little bit. No, there are people coming with huge plans exactly like Bernie Sanders. That's how you get them to change. You come at them with a landslide victory because you've run a populist campaign with big plans and a bold vision for the future, and then you ram it down their throat as they're always talking about. Not, well, I'll come in with a little bit. Can I have it? Like they're not going to punch you right in the face. You've seen Barack Obama. You know how they respond to that BS. God damn, that's a good point. <laughs> I'll just add this last uh, thought on it. So they keep saying, and President Obama didn't exactly allude to it, the Republicans do some more so. Uh, but the whole talk of not being realistic alludes to it. Well, how are you going to afford all this stuff, <laughs> right? Well, it's not like Bernie Sanders is stuttering about that. It's not like he's not explaining it. He, and it's not like he's wrong. Everybody understands. No, he says, I'm going to tax the rich. I'm going to tax them a lot more. I'm going to tax corporations more. So that pays for it. It does. Everybody agrees it does pay for it. If you actually mm -hmm. did increase the taxes to the degree that Bernie Sanders is talking about, it would pay for it. It's just everybody in Washington refuses to see it and hear it. They're like, yeah, 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 but how are you going to pay for it? I just told you how I was going to pay for it, and I'm not going to do any more of your trillion dollar wars. Yeah. yeah. The reason they keep not believing him because they think, no, we got to have the wars. Yeah, yeah. And no, we can't touch the rich. This guy's crazy. That's that, not from Reagan, but that's the same idea. No, that's the system. We've had it for 30 years. Now proceed from that. No. No. They, they, they we say, have to do that. They think, well, you're not allowed to do that. But the reason Bernie Sanders is now on fire is because he's saying, oh, I'm allowed. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to come in with a big plan, like John said, that FDR did, LBJ did. And I'm going to say, hey, instead of uh, spending all this money on wasteful wars, I'm going to spend it on your kids. Uh, if they earned it, I'm going to give them a free education. Yeah. I'm going to make spend it on you guys, the middle class, to get your jobs. Yes, I can do that, and I will do that. And that's what President Obama there again says. Well, he, he has the advantage of being able to let it loose. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like them. Yeah. <laughs> he he don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, he's definitely on Hillary Clinton's side. Yeah. Uh, because Bernie Sanders gets under his skin for exactly the opposite reason of what uh, President Obama is saying. He's saying he hasn't been vetted. No, no, no. Mm. 40 years of progressive track record, and that's what bothers you, because he, he has done it his whole life.